I'll be showing you the two free power cord locations in the science experiment restoration event. Let's get started with the science department. So the rules have changed with the power cord locations this time around. Basically, there's more than one power cord in each room now. Just go straight forward and collect the first power cord for, let's see how many XP. 30 XP. Zero friend bonus. I'm sure that's going to stay at 20. But they have the XP bonus for the power cores to 30 this time. So I'm assuming each power core is going to be 30 no matter the color of it. There's blue, red, and yellow power cores. And as soon as you collect one of the colors, the second one spawns in. So let's try to find the second one real quick. And when I find it, I'll just tell you the location. I'll cut to it. All right, so it's right up there. I did collect all the circuits. I'm not sure if that actually made it spawn in. So I'm going to rejoin and see if it's still there. All right, so it is actually not there. So to get the power core to spawn, spawn up there the second one which is yellow you will need to collect all the circuits around this area so i'll be showing you it right now the first one is right here second one is over here you can collect these in any order by the way i just uh collect these at random i choose either left or right side and then go towards the middle but since i was already in the middle i collected the middle one first here's the second one boom now go to that side of the room for the final two. There goes that one. And here goes the final one we need to spawn in the yellow power core. So in order to get up there, climb up this ladder and then this ladder and just jump towards it and collect it for your 20 XP. Okay, so, so I'm assuming the red one could either be 10 XP, maybe, or 30 or 20. I'm not sure. We'll find out what the red one gives in the next map which is walking bean tech demo so let's just join all right so once we get in here we're gonna want to press the button to begin the game so before we start i'm gonna have to do things very quickly because the round the first day starts pretty much a couple seconds when you load in so just do exactly what i do it's fine if you don't get it in time. I'm not sure if that's going to change anything i think you'll be fine i'm not sure if changing the difficulty affects anything but I'll just keep it on normal. So once you spawn in, you'll basically just want to run straight forward and to the right side, you see those colors, just press on it and that will basically allow the power cores to spawn in by round. So there's going to be two blue ones, two red ones and one yellow one. Now you're gonna wanna go into this building right here and just hop over the fence, go in here, left, and here and collect the fuel we're basically going to be crafting a flamethrower that we're going to be using throughout the entire game so just run out of there take a left attention survivors there is a threat of meteors in your immediate vicinity keep going straight forward it is kind of dark so here's the second one right next to this garbage bin i will just skip towards the daytime so when i finish day zero i'll skip towards when it's daytime so you can actually see clearly all right so once the first day is over with day zero we're back here and i want to run towards here and right next to this garbage is the second part just pick it up go in here head straight forward pick up the shotgun with the flashlight as you get a weapon and a flashlight perfect combo because it gets really dark so just go into this building next Going to the second floor by going up these stairs, and the third part will be right here. Just get out of the building. And the final part, we're going to be running all the way over here. Just keep going straight forward. And in that red building there is going to be our final part for the flamethrower. Just collect it, it's on the counter. Once you collected the final special part, we're going to be going back to spawn, so I'll just skip towards there. Alright, so it's daytime again. Now we're back at spawn, and we're going to go to Jake's Small Sports. Take a left, and on this side is going to be the flamethrower that we acquired the parts to craft. So, once we get the flamethrower, we're basically going to want to melt the ice. Alright, so you don't have to fully melt the ice, just as long as you can collect it, you'll be fine. So just collect it for your 30 XP. There are four more cores we have to collect in this room. Once you collect the power core, you basically just want to skip to the next day. You can do that by pressing this button right here to speed up the day process. 
as you can see once the next day starts another power core spawns in so that's why you'll want to basically do everything as early as possible so you don't have to do them in the late game all right so it is daytime again over there is spawn so we're gonna be right here in this crossroad to the right is the second core that is also frozen so just melt it with your flamethrower once again you don't have to fully melt it down just enough until you can be able to collect it so collect your second core for your 30 xp three more to go all right so we're back at spawn and over here where we went to go press the text there's a flashlight just i would recommend you pick it up the dual wield with the flamethrower because obviously you don't need to reload the flamethrower it has infinite ammo and it gets pretty dark so the flash will help so you don't have to just keep spinning the flamethrower to see in the nighttime. Just a quick little tip. But once you collect the second core, you'll want to skip to the next day. And the third one should spawn. You can already hear it coming down. And there it is. It is basically a soul box. If you ever play Call of Duty Zombies, you'll know what to do. Just kill the beans around this box. The box will collect souls. And you will get your reward, which is the power core. It's daytime again. And here is where the soul box will be at. It is right before you get to the crossroad right here. There's the bus. Spawn is over there. And it will be pretty obvious because how broad it is and the sound cues. Now, it will take a round or two to fill up the soul box. It depends how high in the rounds you are. Maybe it'll take one round because obviously more beings will spawn the higher the rounds. So I'll just skip until I fill up the soul box. All right, so there it is. I got it full in the middle of the round and the power core spawns right on top of the soul box all right so once you feel like it's safe to collect it just collect your power core for your 40 xp looks like the red one gives 40. all right so once you're ready to move on to the next round you can either just wait it out explore the map or obviously just skip to the next round by pressing the button before i do that another quick tip the yellow core requires you to disable the generators but when the yellow core spawns in. So you don't want to preemptively disable them. You have to disable it when it spawns in. Something spawned in again, and it is another soul box. And it's all the way over here across the map. I'll show you when it gets to daytime. You just run to the very end of the map. I just filled up the soul box. This time it just took one round. Here's the first soul box we were in. There's a spawn. Turn around. Run straight forward. And the second soul box will be right there. Collect your red power core for your 40 XP. One more to go, which is the yellow one. Now, keep in mind, you have to collect the power cores in order for the rest to spawn in so you have to collect the two blue ones for the two red ones to spawn in now they will spawn in but if you don't collect the previous colored power core so let's say i didn't collect the blue power core and i immediately started working on the soul boxes it would not work it would not spawn anything in until you collect the blue power cores the same goes for the yellow one you have to collect the red ones before the yellow one spawns in and you can start working on it so when i skipped the round the yellow one should spawn in right where i was staring at over there at the light post and i'll explain how to collect it in a second although i did already explain it earlier so let's see if we can get the yellow power core in action there it is as you can see lightning strike will be right here in front of this light post and the power core will be floating right there you'll basically just want to disable the generators that are in spawn now to get them disabled you'll basically just want to attract the beans towards the generator and they'll basically just start attacking the generator just be careful you still have to defend yourself they're not only going to attack the generators they're also going to focus on you as well there we go the health is going down once the generator is disabled a sound cue will play telling you that you'll be able to collect the yellow power core so just either run towards the yellow power core and collect it now or just wait until it's daytime your choice so here we go here's the crossroad i'm facing towards spawn look to the right and the yellow power core is there ready to be collected without the lightning bothering you so just collect your yellow power core for your 20 xp there we go there goes all the blue yellow and red power cores that are currently free in the science experiment restoration event i'll be doing the paid ones shortly which is in spellbound but yeah i'll see y'all next time